सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑफ आई एम गेटिंग लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन अबाउट सी एस बी एस विच इज कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड बिजनेस सिस्टम सो आई ऑलरेडी मेड वन वीडियो आई लिंक इट समवेयर हेयर और डाउन बिलो इन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी द प्रीवियस वीडियो कैन सी दैट देयर आई हैव ऑलरेडी मैंशन अबाउट द करिकुलम एंड एवरी थिंग सो हेयर आर लॉट ऑफ अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन अबाउट प्लेसमेंट एंड एवरी थिंग दैट आई एम गोइंग टू कवर एंड आई एम अगेन गोइंग टू कवर द कोर्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वंस अगेन सो आई माइट बी सींग दिस साइड बिकॉज आई हैव माई लैपटॉप हेयर एंड आई हैव द कोर्स का डिस्क्रिप्शन हेयर इन द लैपटॉप सो आई माइट बी सींग देयर so the entire structure of uh, csbs so basically there is the first semester you will have basic courses so first semester it's very easy and it won't be that difficult for you though it is difficult for you as compared to csc it is difficult i mean overall if you ask me csbs is difficult than csc because you people have a lot of technical subjects you people have a lot of good subjects and i really like those subjects i mean i am if if you ask me i would really do those subjects because they are really good technical like for example there is compiler design we were never taught that subject and that subject is really important because we use compilers every day for our coding and also we should be knowing that subject but it was not taught to cs it was taught to csbs people so these are some subjects that were really good so now overall csbs i will tell you a few characteristics of csbs first so csbs is a csc specialization in business system it is offered by tcs so the curriculum is offered by tcs it's not that the course tcs has those students no is that the course is given by tcs the course is according to what tcs feels that there should be in a csc branch so that is what it is now the thing is will tsc will tcs favor csps in placements maybe maybe not so it's not a compulsion that they have to favor you it is that that they have given the course you've done a course according to them so they should favor you but it is not compulsory that they will favor you second thing a lot of people had questions about placement so are they allowed to sit in placements with normal csc students yes csbs people sit in all placements all companies that come for csc students if they are eligible in that criteria and in most companies all csc specializations beat csbs everyone is eligible there are a few companies in which only specific branches or specific specializations are eligible those are a few companies that csbs is not able to cater to rest all companies csbs can sit so uh, that is about it and uh, do they get shortlisted uh, that is a question that yes they get shortlisted but yes in less amount as compared to csc um, other branches the the shortlisting rate of csbs is actually a bit low whatever till now i have seen so it's been like i i've sat for almost three companies as of now so in that um, csbs was actually less they were there but they were quite less maybe in the future coming companies there won't be anything of that sort but as of now there were three companies that have come in octa phone pay media net uh, which have come in and they are all like above 30 lakh package and uh, in that there wo- there was a bit of uh, discrimination but i don't think so that there is much so coming up to core structure so the f- i'll tell you about basic basic structure for semester second semester rest i have this pdf i'll uh, share it in an open link open drive link in the description box you can check it from the description box anyone who wants to download can download it from there and see whatever whatever core structure you have for the entire four years okay so that you can see apart from that before i start this there was one more question is csbs allowed to have ffcs sometimes yes sometimes no earlier they never used to have it now apparently they are having it sometimes they have it sometimes they don't have it it depends on the dean academics again it depends and it also depends on the a uh, strength of the csbs department so when we were there it was two classes of csbs so in two classes it's very difficult to have ffcs now i guess the the lower batches have much more of csbs so they do have ffcs now um, it it but it depends i'm i can't say for sure that you will always have ffcs or not that is the only thing that is different apart from that nothing is different csbs is like csc only you will have a business subject in every semester that you can see from the core structure that uh, i'll be putting down in the uh, description box from that you can see uh, apart from being secluded yeah this is a bit secluded branch see you have everything you have ecs you have capstone you have projects you have 
all the subjects but then the problem is that you are only among your batch so for example if there are 200 people who have registered for csbs then you will be in those 200 students only whereas other csc specialization can take people from all specialization for example csc people can take people from mechanical also csc other branches csc btech i mean to say so they can take people from mechanical also they can take people from ece also so th that is where the difference come but csbs people because they have different credit system different uh, credits for every project that is the only reason they are being uh, secluded so they have to take people from those 200 people only they have to make their groups in those 200 people only they can't take people from other specialization other csc specialization that is the only drawback of csbs apart from that this is a very good branch very very good curriculum has been given by tcs very technical i mean see at the end it is all up to you college is going to just give you an outline structure of how you have to study it is all about you how you study so that is what you have to keep in mind projects college won't force you to create projects you have to create projects on your own that is for other csc branches also and that is for csbs also internships also again the the middle of the years internship it is again that you have to find it yourself college will try to help but you have to assume that there are there are two and a half thousand people in one campus how can college provide so many internship or so many opportunities for everyone it's very difficult for the college also to cater to everyone so that is there and uh, if you want to ask me is it easy or tough it's a bit tough because a you don't have ffcs so it becomes tough because when you have ffcs you can take classes according to your priority some days you might be giving two exams also because that is how the csbs structure is we try not to take two subjects so we have seven slots so we try to take uh, one exam in every slot csbs at times have two exams in one day i have done that i have taken that but i have taken easy subjects in that you might be given tough subjects as well apart from that yeah you people have to do one uh, neptel courses for compulsory last time it was there now if they would have changed um, it, it might change now but you people had to do one neptel course compulsory so neptel course is the government courses offered by uh, nptl you they call it is it's offered by the government and uh, they are NPTEL organization, I mean, it's a government, maybe it's a government aided or something, government organization. You can go online and check SWAM, NPTEL, something of that sort. It's a website. I'll link that uh, in the description box. So, they, there you have to register for a course. You have to study that course and then you have to give an exam. So, the registration of the course is free, but for giving an exam, you have to pay 1000 rupees and it is, it's an offline exam. So, mind you, it's an offline exam. You have to go offline and then give the exam. So, from that you get the code you get the credits for that and it is absolutely graded so for example how much marks you get out of 100 you'll get a grade according to that up 90 and 90 above s 80 and 80 above a uh, 70 and 70 above b 60 and 60 above c 50 and 50 above d so it's like absolute grading if you want me to make a video for grading i can give you a video for grading how it's graded and how everything that i'll uh, tell you in a video where i'll tell you what if you fail and everything that i'll make one video because people wanted to know if they fail how can they uh, recover their backlog what are the problems and everything so that i'll cover in that so yeah saying about that about the course curriculum the first semester you will be have fundamentals of computer science basically a, uh, a basic uh, coding subject which would be c programming for you people then principles of electrical engineering which would be similar to f triple e so transformers register registers then circuits and everything will be there in that apart from that you will also be having um, the entire electrical uh, system like you know courses related to electrical engineering so that you will be having in this then you will be having business communication and uh, value sciences so this would be another this would be from business systems one subject then introductory topics in statics probability and calculus that is one match that you will have and see mind you csc people have a different match for static statistics and probability is one match for us calculus is one match for us and then the next match that this is one match for you people and the next match that you have is discrete mathematics you people will be having two mathematical mathematical courses in the first semester itself whereas we have one mathematic structure one mathematical course in every semester so that is where it becomes tough for you people 
then you people have fundamentals of physics and then one induction program which is a small uh, no credit course it would be like uh, you people will have a few non credit courses also which would be general courses so you just have to take the classes and nothing much nothing will happen so that is a chill subject so majorly you will have six, six subjects in your first semester which would be i have told whatever and i'll uh, attach the screenshot here and i also attach this document in the description box in the next semester uh, you will be having another two types of maths then you will be having linear algebra statistical methods data structures and algorithms principles of electronics engineering fundamentals of economics from business system then business communication value science two second subject so it will be another business subject that you will be having and then you will be having another non credit course which is environmental science so it will be like so it's almost like uh, you have to go and attend the classes and do the assignments and that's it you, you get a pass grade that's it nothing much you don't get any credit for this course and then furthermore from third semester you will be having formal language and automata theory which is the theory of computation you can just search theory of computation and you will get this then you will have computer coa which is computer organization Ar architecture which is the architecture of the computer so 8600 and all these architectures that you will be studying this is common for csc then you will have object oriented programming you will have computational statistics you will be having dbm is database management system which is about databases then you will be having financial management then you will be having introduction to innovative ip management and entrepreneurship another bs another business system subject and then you will have indian constitution which is a non credit subject so you will have even every semester almost you will have non credit subjects so this is an overview of how csbs is so if you people feel that it's a it's a it's a bad course no it's a good course only drawback is it is not the most prior, prioritized course by the college because it is a course which is offered by tcs then you don't need to feel you don't need to think that tcs will take you for sure no it is not like that tcs may give you a priority may not give you a priority it is nothing is disclosed i am again saying it is it is according to what i know internally there might be something that uh, they might be knowing not not something that i know of internally if there's something happening in the cdc cdc is the career development cell which is in the itap which is responsible for your placements so that is about everything and uh, yeah that's pretty much it i'll attach everything in the description box and uh, if you have any more questions drop down in the comment section i'll try to answer them as soon as possible don't think that i'll answer them the same day i will try to answer them the same day but right now i'm also busy with a lot of things so i'm not sure if i'll be able to answer the question the same day but i'll try to answer them in the day following or the week following or uh, somebody or the other my friends they'll answer that question don't worry so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for another good videos and i'm and i'm doing because for you people because i like my channel is not an academic channel like others and uh, i am not scared of anyone like others who do whatever they feel i say whatever i feel i like to say and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so yeah, thank you so much